So this is where we left off uh, in the next uh, last video, where we implemented the keyboard input movement with W A S D keys. And in this video, I'm going to implement uh, mouse look functionality. So let's start. In my camera class, I already imported from the math model the sine, cosine, and radiance functions and added to the constructor the mouse sensitivity, the jaw, and the pitch. Uh, variables. The next step is to define so-called process mouse movement. <coughs> so process mouse movement. Okay. Self the X offset. Y offset and uh, constraint underscore pitch set its default to true. Okay, now X offset is equal uh, times equal to the self dot mouse sensitivity okay y offset times equals self dot mouse sensitivity yaw and uh, self dot joe plus equals the x offset and self dot pitch plus equals to y offset yes okay and I'm going to constrain the pitch so if constraint pitch is true okay then another if statement so self dot pitch uh, let's say is bigger than I don't know um, let's say 45 degree oh, 45 okay so then self dot pitch Cell that pitch set it to forty five and another if so if self that pitch is less than negative forty five degree then self that pitch is equal to negative 45 so now we are constrained the pitch which is the uh, movement on the x axis I'm gonna show you something here where is it mm -hmm. so this is the pitch if you look up or down on the x-axis, this is the jaw when we when you turn your head to the sides, and this is the roll. Uh, we are not gonna implement the roll functionality, just the pitch and the jaw roll rotation. <clears throat> okay, so let's continue then. Call the self dot update camera vectors update underscore camera 
back doors. So let's write this update camera vectors function. So def update camera vectors. Oh, self, yes, okay. So just create a new vector. Vector free, yes. Vector free, okay. And just zero, zero, zero. Okay. Then front dot x will be equal to the cosine cosine of radians self the Joe self that Joe yes times the cosine of radians and self that pitch Now the y axis, so front um, that y front this will be equal to the sine of radiance and self that pitch. And front Z uh, front at Z this will be equal to the sine of radians sell the Joe yeah we'll sell the Joe times the cosine of radians and sell that bitch sell that bitch okay and now update the camera vector so self that camera front camera front yo is equal to the vector that normalize and the front now save that camera right save that camera right will be equal to the vector that normalize and vector that cross product uh, cross uh, I mean in, this is in the vector free okay so vector free cross product of cell dot camera front Camera front, okay, and uh, save that camera up. Okay, so this was the camera right, and now the camera up. So save that camera up will be equal to the vector that normalize uh, vector free vector free yes that cross product 
cannot cross. Here it is, okay. So the self that come right. Self dot camera right with the camera front. So self dot camera front. So now back to the main program. I'm going to define the mouse callback function after the key callback or oh, after the do movement. So if mouse callback callback okay we'll take the window X position X pose and the Y position Y pose okay so X offset Yeah, x offset will be equal to x position mm, x position minus the last uh, x. I'm going to create this last x uh, after I type this out. Y offset equal to the last y minus the y position and so let's define this last x and last y or declare these variables here okay so last x comma last y and this will be 640 and 360 so the uh, the screen width and the screen height uh, divided by two so last position okay so now back to the mouse callback function last x will be equal to the x position and last y will be equal to the y position after this y position uh, last x last y unresolved reference okay we are going to use the global last x and last y okay so after this we are going to uh, call the come from the camera the uh, process mouse movement function so process mouse movement and uh, x offset x offset and the y offset okay in the main i'm going to create another glf uh, callback so set uh, cursor position callback set underscore course and course of position callback yes on the window and uh, mouse callback mouse callback yeah so now every time we are moving with the mouse this set course of position callback will call the mouse callback without the parenthesis so this function we just wrote so i'm gonna test this oh we have a jump when we enter the uh, the screen with the mouse so once again 
it's okay but as slowly entering the screen chung <laughs> the cube just jumps so to prevent this i'm going to create another another variable here so first first mouse and set it equal to true okay and then global first mouse and we are going to check with an if statement so if first mouse first underscore mouse if first mouse then last x will be equal to the x position not, not s position but x position and the last y will be equal to y position y position and set the first mouse first underscore mouse equal to false okay so now we don't gonna have that jump mm -hmm. Probably in the next video I am going to make last uh, video about the camera system, but mainly about talking uh, the issues we have with this system. So until then, have a nice day.